Hello and welcome back guys to today's video. Now we have already covered the creation of upper housing, this particular part called lower housing as well as this particular part called blower. Okay. And if you haven't seen those videos, because in today's video, we'll be actually doing the assembly of all the three components. And actually this is a very small assembly, but the motive of creating this particular parts and assembly is not we are going to not just understand how to create an assembly inside an X, but we are also going to understand how to do basic sequencing inside an X. That is how to provide basic motion to the components. So in today's video, okay, we are going to learn about how to create basic assembly inside NX. Okay. And this will be a very short video. It will not be as long as it used to be like other videos in which we have covered the creation of all this particular part. It will be not as long as that one, but yeah, this will be a short video, which will be explaining you how to complete the assembly. And this is, will be again, a very important video because after completing this video, you will be able to follow the next video, which is going to be very important. That is how to use sequence. Okay. So, Again, I would like to remind you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe, consider subscribing to the channel and also like the video if you enjoy this kind of content. Okay. So let us start with this particular session. Now in this session, what we are going to do is we are going to actually create the remaining part that is the upper, uh, that is basically the assembly of all the three components. So first of all, again, I'll remind you for doing an assembly, it is very important that all the parts of that assembly should be saved in a single folder. In my case, all the components are already saved inside D drive blower assembly folder. Okay. So I know that all the components are saved over here and this is the location where from where I'm going to pick all the components and my assembly will also be saved over there. Okay. So that will ensure that in future you will not have any problem with your assembly in opening the assembly in closing the assembly in sharing the assembly and doing various part with the assembly. Okay. So here we are going to now define the name of the assembly. So let's say this is going to be named as blower assembly. So here I just named it that named this as blower assembly. I'll click okay. And now once I click okay, you can see the blower assembly part is getting ready. Okay. And this is the blower assembly part, which we are going to create now. Now, again, uh, if you haven't seen my video in which I have already covered the basic of assembly, I'll just want to repeat that you can go to tools or application and make sure from the toolbox assembly is checked or else you can do it from one more place. You can go to file over here. Okay. And then over here, make sure assembly is checked. If assembly is not checked, you will not find the assembly tab over here. If assembly is checked, you will find the assembly tab over here. So once you go into assembly and once you go into the assembly tab, it will be very easy for you to do the assembly. So technically here in NX, we never open an assembly file. Okay. In the, in the first place, we open the modeling file itself, but we make sure that we are capable of doing assembly as well. Now, next thing, what we are going to do is first of all, we are going to activate the assembly navigator. Okay. Here on the left so that we can see actually what, you know, components we are browsing into the assembly. Now to browse a component into the assembly or to bring a component into the assembly, we are going to click on this command called add component. Now this particular command will help you to bring and place the component inside the assembly. So here we are going to click on add component. Now in add component command, we are going to select the part by clicking on this open button. So here we have the open button. Okay. And I'm going to click on this particular open button and then decide. Now you might notice it is automatically taking me to this particular folder because I have defined that as my work location. Well, now how I defined that as my work location, just by simply saving this particular file over there. Okay. So this blower assembly part is actually created in this particular folder. So that is the reason it is automatically taking me to that particular folder. So here I'm going to, let's say, start with the uh, first file. That is the lower housing. So here I'm going to click on lower housing, click on okay. And now my lower housing is actually being bought into the assembly. Now, if suppose you are not able to see or if it is very small, just press control F. Okay. And then it will automatically fit to the screen. Now here, as we can notice, we are able to see this particular part. Okay. So the first part has been ready or it's been imported into the assembly. Now, after this, we are, what we are going to do is here in component anchor, we are going to make sure it is absolute and here in assembly position or assembly location, it should be absolute work part so that the first component is placed properly. Now here in placement, we are going to select move. Okay. And then we are directly going to click. Okay. So as soon as you click, okay, it will ask you whether you want to add a fixed constraint to the first component. And I will say, yes, I want to add a fixed constraint to my first component. So here I'll say yes. And now my particular assembly is ready with my first component, which is already having a fixed constraint. Okay. I'll save my assembly and it is always a good habit of saving the assembly after each and every component. Now the next component, which, which I want to import is the blower. So again, for adding a blower, I just need to click on add component. Now I need to click on open 
and from here i'm going to select my blower now once i select my blower i need to click okay and now my blower is getting added now obviously it might not be in the correct position correct orientation but don't worry about it okay now here in the placement tab you just directly click on this option called specify orientation without doing any changes in the location tab okay just click on this particular option called specify orientation now once i click on specify orientation i can then have this triad display on my screen and then i can move this component around okay if this particular option is selected then i can move this component around and i can place it somewhere over here now i can click okay to ensure the placement of this component now what i need to do first okay first of all i need to uh, rotate this particular component in specific way so that the center axis of this particular component and the center of this component should match so to do that we are going to click on this option called assembly constraints now doing an assembly is as simple as creating a sketch okay so currently what we are going to do is we are going to click on this option called assembly constraints and here in assembly constraint we are going to go for the first one okay in this condition that is touch align and here in touch align we are going to find this particular option called infer center axis okay so here we are going to select this particular option called touch align and here we are going to activate the orientation method that is infer center axis now what we are going to do is we are going to select the center axis of this component okay now because it is a cylindrical component i can select any center axis and that is all good okay so i can select the center axis of this component and then i can select the center axis of this particular part and once i do that you can see this is correctly oriented now ensure this one particular thing that it should not be oriented like this like this particular part should not come on this side okay this particular diameter should be on the smaller side so you can use this flip button to make sure the placement is correct okay you can use this flip button to make sure the placement is correct and for all of us it might not be in this way okay for some of you the placement might be here here or here but you can actually drag the component around if you want to okay while in the assembly constraint command okay you can drag the component around while you are in the assembly constraint command so make sure it is in this orientation and make sure it is outside the geometry or you can drag it outside the geometry if you want to okay so once it is placed outside the geometry i am going to click okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a simple measurement now i want to measure the gap over here and the length of this blower over here to do that i'm going to click on analysis now even i can go and refer the drawings which i've created before okay and then referring to the drawing i can understand the measurement but it would be better if i can take a measurement on the fly okay so here i can go to analysis tab here i can click on the measure tool and here i'm going to select object as a source of measurement and i'm going to select this face the inner face and this inner face over here so this will have a distance of let's say 7.5 mm okay these two faces are having a distance of 7.5 mm okay so we know the measurement between these two faces is 7.5 mm the next thing what i'm going to do is uh i'm just going to reset the command and then measure this face of the blower till this face of the blower and here we are measuring it to 7.25 mm so i know that this particular size is not as big as this one or this particular size is very bigger than this one actually it is 0.25 mm bigger okay so what we are going to do is we want to place the blower exactly in the middle so i don't want to place it at very extreme like this side or this side i want to place it in the middle so how to do that how to do the placement in the middle to do that i'll go to the assembly tab okay again back to the assembly tab and here i'm going to select the assembly constraint command now here in assembly constraint command i'm going to select this option called center so this is one of the constraint type which is known as center constraint so once i select the center constraint here in sub type i'm going to select 2 to 2 that means 2 object center will match the two object center so that is what i am going to do over here so here i am going to select 2 to 2 this will be the first object this will be the second object so this is the first two set of objects okay then this will be the first object and this will be the second object and these are the second set of objects now this particular component has been placed over here in the center and it is allowed to rotate okay now to see the allowance i am going to teach you one more command using which you can see the allowance i can now click okay and now the blower is been placed properly now blower is not a fully defined component over here okay so you can just press control f fit to screen save the file first okay and then what you can do is you can see the rotation or the allowed degree of freedom using this option called show degree of freedom now here in the position group itself in the assembly tab in the position group if you click on more you will be able to see this command called show degree of freedom and if you click on this command called show degree of freedom you can select the component 
and then you can see this component is allowed to rotate in both the directions so that is the reason it is showing this as a degree of freedom okay and that is fine that is what we want because later on i want to provide some motion to this component okay so to get rid of this red color highlighting you can just simply right click and use refresh okay you can just simply right click and use refresh to get rid of that orange color highlighting now what we are going to do next is i'm going to add the next component so here i'm going to click on add component now here i'm going to click on open and browse for upper housing this time and this would be the last component for my assembly and by default it is coming in a very good location okay but it is not correctly oriented so here i'm going to use specify orientation i'm going to click on this button inside placement called specify orientation and then i'm going to move it away okay remember you have to move it away and i need to place my blower this way okay so you can use this handle to rotate the blower as well okay if you want to so i want to place my blower this way and this is always better you know to keep you know to set the orientation before you do the placement now here i'll click okay and now this is how my blower orientation is going to be now what i'm going to do next is i want to place my blower exactly over here so there are total of you know four holes over here four holes over here similarly four holes over here four holes over here so total of eight holes which are going to match with the eight holes so uh, i want you to comment in the comment section below how many holes should we match to in order to properly place the component okay is it 1 2 3 4 or all 8 okay for ensuring the proper placement i'll pause for a few seconds and you can comment in the comment section now <clears throat> okay i hope you have already answered now here we are actually going to match only two holes so here i'm going to use assembly constraint and i'm going to use this constraint called concentric now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the bottom circular edge of this hole okay make sure the bottom circular edge is what you select and the top circular edge of this hole so now this two holes are now concentric similarly again over here the bottom circular edge of this hole okay and if you can even rotate the component around if you are not able to view it properly okay and here the top circular edge so only two holes i need to combine or to you know attach in order to create a concentric constraint and once i'm done with that i can click okay and i want you to comment the difference between uh, this option called info center axis and concentric so that i can understand how many of you know nx to what extent okay so here we have completed the blower assembly in the next session okay remind you in the next session we are going to give some motion to the blower okay so stick around and subscribe to the channel for the next video and next video will be coming out very soon okay and after the sequence particular video is ready we will be uh, i'll be sharing all the pdfs with you okay which i have used so far in creating those drawings so please consider subscribing to the channel and also like the video if you have watched till this particular part okay so thank you very much for watching have a great day